The Major League Baseball has canceled opening day and Commissioner Rob Manfred announced the sport will lose regular season games after failing to reach an agreement with the Players Association to end the owner-imposed lockout. Yeah, hi guys, welcome back to my Taylor Talks channel. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe for some more Taylor Talks. Now let's get into the video. So the Major League Baseball Players Association released a collective statement on Twitter today stating the outcome of the meeting they had with the commissioner saying, and I quote, Rob Manfred and the MLB's owners have canceled the start of the season. Players and fans around the world who love baseball are disgusted, but sadly not surprised. From the beginning of these negotiations, players' objectives have been consistent to promote competition, provide fair compensation for young players, and to uphold the integrity of our market system. Against the backdrop of growing revenues and record profits, we are seeking nothing more than a fair agreement. What Rob Manfred characterized as a, quote, defensive lockout is in fact the culmination of a decades-long attempt by owners to break our player fraternity. As in the past, this effort will fail. We are united and committed to negotiating a fair deal that will improve the sport for players, fans, and everyone who loves our game. And that was the message that the MLBPA sent to us today. Now, Rob Manfred, he did say that the first two games of this season are canceled and that they don't know if they will be rescheduled. And he said, and I quote, our position is that with games that are not played, players will not get paid for it. And for those of you guys who need some background, this is the first time in 27 years that baseball is losing their regular season games due to a work stoppage. The Major League Baseball and the Major League Baseball Players Association were unable to strike a new collective bargaining agreement that would end the owner-imposed lockout today. Now, this has been going on for the past three months. They did meet today, and the deadline to actually agree on an agreement was by 5 p.m. today and a deal was not met. As a follow-up, the commissioner, Rob Manfred, had a press conference and he said this and I quote, I had hoped that I would not have had this press conference where I'm going to cancel some regular games. We worked hard to avoid an outcome that's bad for our fans, bad for our players, and bad for our clubs. Our failure to reach an agreement was not due to a lack of effort by either party. Now, he also added again that the first two series of the 2022 season will not be played as scheduled. Opening day was originally scheduled for Thursday, March 31st, and that has now been pushed back at least a week. Now, Tony Clark, a MLBPA executive, so a Players Association executive, said, and I quote, Today is a sad day. We came to Florida to navigate and negotiate for a fair collective bargaining agreement. Despite meeting daily, there is still significant work to be done. The reason we are not playing is simple. A lockout is the ultimate economic weapon. In a $10 billion industry, the owners have decided to use this weapon against the greatest asset they have, the players. They set a deadline here. We're willing to stay here and have a conversation tomorrow. We're willing to fly back to New York. We're willing to go wherever we need to go to get back in the room and continue the dialogue that has begun. Now, again, today marked the three-month anniversary of the lockout, and the next step is uncertain for both sides. Now, Manfred said that the two sides will regroup at some point and continue negotiations, though he said, and I quote, no agreement is possible until this Thursday, and in all likelihood, the MLB and the MLBPA will wait at least a few days before scheduling their next bargaining session. Now, Manfred also said, if it was solely within my ability or the ability of the clubs to get an agreement, we'd have an agreement. The tough thing about this process is that we have to get an agreement from both parties. Now, because both sides could not reach an agreement today, there are a lot of changes that could happen from here on out, especially when it comes to the postseason. Expanding the postseason may be off the table. The MLB and the MLBPA reportedly agreed to the framework of an expanded 12-team postseason field on Monday, so yesterday, and the union had previously warned that they would not agree to an expanded postseason if players are not paid their full salaries in 2022. Now that the regular season games and potentially the player salaries will be missed, the MLB may have to wait for an expanded postseason because, of course, if the players will not be able to get paid by the MLB, then that actually breaches their contract for a postseason. Now, the MLB is also trying to deflect the blame. Now, a lot of people are blaming the MLB for not 
actually agreeing with the Players Association and striking the deal. But the MLB is saying that their proposals are productive and they're saying that the Players Association offers are going backwards and overreaching and that the Players Association is not being clear and consistent with what they're asking for. Even though in this situation, it looks like the owners and the commissioner have the most power as they have already canceled two games and chose to wait over 40 days to make their first offer to the Players Association. Now, the good part of all of this is that the MLB, the Major League Baseball Association, did not issue a last best offer today while they were talking to the Players Association. Now the MLB described today's offer as their best and final offer, not their last best offer. And there's an important difference between the two. Last best offer is a phrase management uses before declaring a legal impasse. And an impasse would allow the MLB to implement today's offer without even considering the Players Association offer. And now Manfred said, and I quote, we never used the phrase last best final offer with the union. We said it was our best offer prior to the deadline to cancel games. Our negotiations are deadlocked right now, but that's different than using the legal term impasse, and I'm not going to do that right now. Now, in the event that Manfred did declare an impasse, the MLPA would respond by filing an unfair labor practices charge and the National Labor Relations Board could issue a complaint for failure to bargain in good faith. So the MLB would just be digging themselves in a hole. And both sides will wind up in front of a court and in front of a judge. But for now, Insider said that Manfred likes the idea that we are willing to go back to the table and make an agreement. Now, when it comes to both sides, a lot of fans and players are pointing their finger at the MLB and the commissioner saying that they are the ones that are actually leading the charge of canceling some games and not wanting to pay the players accordingly. Now, Andy McCullough, he said, and I quote, the amount of exhaustion, despair, and anger I'm hearing from people around baseball, people who have dedicated their lives to this industry, is remarkable. The owners are breaking their spirits of the people who run the business. Now, Jeff Passan said, this is a sad day for baseball. Ken Rosendahl said, one player leader calls the league's proposal, quote, a slap in the face saying owners only want players to lose pay. Well, what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think that this is all Manfred's fault? Do you guys think that the Players Association will be able to get their deal passed? Make sure that you guys comment below your thoughts. I want to hear you guys' opinions. And make sure that you guys like and subscribe as well for some more Taylor Talks. And as I always say, stay safe. See ya.